guys welcome back so today we are trying out new products and this first new product to me is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills uh, brow pomade so I did get this in the shade medium brown and this is the first time that I have ever tried any pomades before so this was I, I actually honestly like I really 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 like it I really love how it leaves my eyebrows and yeah I think I'm pretty addicted right now so I did get uh, an Anastasia brush as well to use with this product and I really like the results. I'm also cleaning this brow up with some concealer. I want to do a brow tutorial, however, <laughs> I really want to figure out what I like first and then go ahead and do that for you guys. So yeah, we're just, we're just working here. So this is how I clean my eyebrows and I recently started using this flat Morphe brush. I'll have a list down below. And I do clean the top as well. And I actually like to blend this out with my fingers because I feel like when it blends it out with the brush, it sometimes can get in inside like my eyebrows, if that makes sense, like on the hairs. So I do like to blend this out with my finger. Just like that. And it blends out a lot nicer. And obviously we're still going to put foundation on top of that. So it'll cover it up right away. And I'm just going to spoolie through my brows. And I was so scared to leave them looking dark, but... They're good. <laughs> so right here, I am using the Becca Cosmetics uh, Luminous Primer. I think it's the Backlight Luminous Primer. Oh my god, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> I will have it there so you guys can see it. And right here, I am using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which, to be honest, at first I thought it was a pretty good match. But as I wore it, I wore it three other times. And honestly, you guys, at first I really liked it. But as I kept wearing it, I felt like it was making my face look too cakey. So I did have to return that because, like I said, it is light and it, I was just not feeling the product. So here I'm going to contour with this Clinique contour stick. I did mention this in my haul. And I like the stick. I just feel like the color, maybe I didn't get the correct one for myself. I don't know. You guys, you guys let me know what you think about this color. It's not, it's not bad, but you know. Maybe I need a different color for myself. I am trying my best to contour my nose. I'm not I'm not perfect at it, but I'm trying. Oh my god, did you guys see what happened to my little hairs right there? Right there, my sideburns. Yes, I took those off. I actually started cutting them with scissors one day because they were pissing me off so bad. And I ended up <laughs> giving myself a shape up. <laughs> so I had to go and get it threaded. But yeah, it's, it was the best decision I have ever made. Seriously, <laughs> life changing. So here I'm just going to blend out the contour. And I am using this buffing brush by Real Techniques, which I love, love, love for cream contouring. It's so good. So I'm just going to work this in there. You want to move your contour. Well, blend it out towards your hairline. That way you can get a nice contour look. And I'm going to blend that out a little bit more. So just in case it looks a little weird right now, you know. So I just grabbed this random Morphe brush just to try and contour my nose because like I said, I am practicing on it. So I'm trying to see what brush I like for myself. And yeah, so far so good. To conceal and highlight under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my favorite concealer at the moment. I just love everything about it. And I just have to stack myself up with like two more. <laughs> so I did receive this sponge in the mail with my concealer. I ordered it from QVC, I believe, or HSN. And they had a deal with the concealer and the sponge for $28. So I actually do like this sponge. I know I've heard of negative reviews about the sponge, but to be honest, I like it. I don't know. And you don't even have to wet it. It works really good. And I'm just going to be blending this in. And I do like to press in my concealer. So as you can see, I am pressing it in and I do bring it all the way down to like the, like the sides of my nose just to cover those babies up. I tend to kind of like my foundation fades a lot from right on the sides of my nose for some reason. So when I add the concealer, it really helps it stay put together. And I am taking the butt of the blender or sponge and I'm just going to be blending this in with my foundation just to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines on my face and everything just looks nice and blended so now to set my concealer I am going to be setting it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder this powder is light yes set that on the eye <laughs> so now I'm going to be using the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in the shade medium and to be honest with you guys I'm not like I don't know I don't know I have to keep using this being that I did a cream contour I feel like it's not showing up as it should 
and it tends to look like just a tad bit muddy I would say I have used it a few times and I don't know I'm still not unsure about it I don't know I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> I don't want to say no and then I really end up liking it so yeah in the video it's not so bad but I just I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> so now I'm going in with the Guerlain um, bronzing powder and I felt like I, I actually liked the powder however it did feel too light for my skin so I'm not sure if I'm going to be exchanging that for a darker one it's just it looked too light for me I guess I'm not used to that light bronzing but I mean it's not bad so now I am going to chisel out these cheekbones and I'm gonna be baking and of course Laura Mercier chisels in powder I did wipe off that bake and I sprayed my face with some fix plus and now I'm going in with gold lights by Lancome and this is the cream uh, highlight <laughs> the one that looks like the pol the polar pop <laughs> the color pop ones so I actually really like this like do you see that glow yes <laughs> yes and I love how nice the brush picked it up that is so awesome I don't know I'm just not like huge on putting product on my fingers it just gets me really annoyed like if I have to I will but yeah so now we are going to add some more highlight and we're using so Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills I hope you guys picked this up during the Black Friday sale because this highlight is bomb yes you see that facial expression I do like to highlight my cheeks and my temples and then I run it down my nose now let's move on to the eyes and we are using the Huda Beauty palette today I am starting off with the shade Sandalwood and I'm just gonna be running this across my eye just to give me a nice base and I will be adding henna I really love henna it's such a beautiful beautiful shade and I just love it it's so pretty and I am running this across my crease mostly I'm trying to really define that crease and honestly guys with this palette it was a little difficult for me to use the shimmer shades which you guys will see <laughs> so I'm just gonna be keep packing on henna until I get the shade that I desire and I'm just gonna keep blending this out and then I did go in with cocoa just to deepen that up more I didn't want such like a bold dark eye I just wanted to be a little bit more defined a little bit darker so that is why I added cocoa in there I had no idea what I was going for with this eye and I had no idea I left powder on my nose <laughs> so yeah don't mind that powder I was not sniffing anything I promise so I'm just blending cocoa out making sure it is nice and blended and it doesn't look, ugh, it doesn't look patchy so I took this um, 231 brush by Luxie oh my god this brush is amazing and I just took some more of cocoa and I kind of like dipped my brush into black truffle just to give it a little bit more like a spazz and I just kept blending that out so now I'm going in with trust fund and this is a gorgeous gorgeous kind of coppery gold shade it's so pretty and as you guys can see like oh, me and doing this applying with fingers is just it doesn't work <laughs> the shade is beautiful though it's beautiful I tried to pick it up with the brush but it, it just no it doesn't work with the brush and being that I have nails it makes it twice as much harder so this gave me kind of a little bit of hard time just trying to place it exactly where I wanted it yeah you see that and I did go and I added 24k just a little bit because I did do it on the other eye which I didn't like but I was like you know what we're gonna work with it I was so ready to just take this off because it got me so upset but you know what I ended up liking it so yeah you gotta pull through <laughs> So that's 24k and this is an intense gold shade and on top of 24k I just put on more of the trust fund shade because I felt like it was just a little too yellow for me so I did add more trust funds and I'm just blending this in just so we don't have any harsh lines and everything looks nice and seamless and yeah just keep blending so as you guys will notice I did cut off the part where I apply my eyeliner only because it gave me such a hard time to apply on top of those shimmer shades it's really really hard so definitely use a liquid liner I did use my Inglot 77 as per usual so to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner I went in with Moon Dust and it's such a beautiful beautiful shade as you can see it's so cute <laughs> 
Okay, so now on my lower lash line, I did apply just the same colors that I did on my eyes. And I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Dark Brown. And then I'm going to be applying Steppin' Out by Smashbox with Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs. And that is all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look, and I will see you on my next one.